The government report called Zimbabwe Vulnerability Assessment says about 2.4 million locals in the country's urban areas are struggling to meet their basic food needs because of lockdowns to contain the spread of COVID-19. Murambiwa Simon Mushongorokwa used to get casual factory jobs before the pandemic hit Zimbabwe. I used to get about $30 a week. It was not enough for my needs. But when the lockdown came, it got worse until I started growing mushrooms. He uses forage from his backyard, corn and sorghum field to grow the mushrooms. He says he now gets about $5 a week from selling it and uses some for consumption with his wife and five dependents. Simon Julius Kufakwevanu, an official from a local NGO, has been teaching people in this poor suburb to grow mushrooms. Before the introduction of uh, mushroom growing farming in this area, it was very tough for people in this community to survive because of the lockdown and so forth. But now, when fish of brought in the mushroom growing, it's changing because you can now buy something, you are now able to, to go to the shops and buy mini meal, buy sugar and so forth. The World Food Programme says it is looking for more ideas and resources to help 550,000 people like Mushongorokwa in urban areas get basic food for survival. COVID-19 has not only wide lives, it is wide livelihoods as well. The number of people who are unable to put food on their table in Zimbabwe's urban areas has increased from 30% during the same period in 2019 to 42% right now. Zimbabwe government says it is giving about $12 a month to families affected by lockdowns. That's nowhere near the $500 an average family of five to seven people needs to survive each month. People like Mushongorokwa hope that with the lockdowns recently eased, jobs and livelihoods will come back. In the meantime, the WFP is seeking $32 million to feed food insecure urbanites. Columbus Mavungam for VOA News, Ararem.